Hello, everyone. Yes, uh, for my presentation, basically, I gave a talk on treatment options for neurodegenerative diseases and neuromuscular diseases. And uh, I went through mainly the gene-based uh, therapies, including the CRISPR-Cas9 and the antisense oligonucleotides. I mentioned that for neurodegenerative and neuromuscular diseases, there is no cure for these uh, diseases. And that's why we are very determined to, to plan, to design, and to work hard in order to um, find effective treatment. The, um, the FDA approved the drugs in the market for these diseases. Basically, they target the symptoms. So they don't cure the actual um, cause of the mutation or of the disease. That is why there is a big urgent for finding effective treatment. And I, I went through some um, like um, ideas, what we do at MNI, Montreal Neurological Institute at Montreal in McGill University. And basically we have a big lab and we are interested in discovering the underlying genetic basis causes of many neurological and psychiatric, psychiatric diseases in order to find new treatments. These are examples of the disorders where we are studying such as autism, epilepsy, schizophrenia, ALS, oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy, as well as Huntington and MGD. So our goal is to find effective treatment. And here we have a few examples of our recent publications where we start with the gene discovery and then we go and we study the mechanisms underlying the disease in order to find effective treatment. So for example, for restless leg syndrome, we use a whole transcriptome in order to find um, the, um, um, uh, the risk factor affecting this disorder. Here we published after our discovery in Nature Genetics where we find a mutation in TDB to affect ALS and to cause ALS, we published here a big review where we propose different mechanisms, including RNA processing defects, axonal transport defects, uh, underlying ALS. Because if you understand the pathogenic uh, mechanisms uh, underlying these diseases, then you can target these pathways. And uh, here we have an example of um, a treatment um, a review where we suggest that we have to conduct whole genome um, studies in, in, in conjunction with the studying of molecular mechanisms in order to find the effective treatment for these diseases. So these are examples of uh, the slides I presented. Of course, I'm going to go through more examples while we are uh, answering the questions.